You're in Quantum Land Airport, where the ordinarily extraordinary is just another day at the office. Suddenly, you're called in by the bomb squad. A suitcase rigged with a bomb has been detected. This isn't your run-of-the-mill bomb, though. It's a special bomb, designed as a test of your quantum abilities. The catch, you don't know if it's armed or not, there's a sensor inside that could trigger the bomb if you try to inspect it. You can't take that risk. The entire airport, the people, their safety, it all depends on you. So you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, or in this case, an armed bomb and a potential disaster. This is the premise of the Elitzer Vaidman Bomb Tester, a thought experiment in quantum mechanics. So, how do you discern the state of a bomb without actually triggering it? This conundrum takes us deep into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics, specifically the concept of quantum superposition and communication. Let's delve into this scenario a little bit. Picture sending a single photon into the suitcase holding the bomb. As far as we're concerned, the bomb is in a state of quantum superposition. It's both armed and disarmed simultaneously until we observe it. This is quite a pickle, isn't it? Now imagine a beam splitter within the suitcase. This device can split the path of our photon into two, one path where it interacts with the bomb and another where it doesn't. But here's the twist. Because our bomb is in a superposition, the photon actually takes both paths at the same time. Yes, you heard that right. Both paths simultaneously. This has us teetering on the edge of a cliffhanger, doesn't it? Now the story takes a turn when these split paths recombine. This is where the magic of quantum mechanics shines. This is where it gets really interesting. When the photons recombine, they can interact in one of two ways. So, hold on to your seats as we journey further into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics in the next scene. 1. If the bomb is armed, the bomb that encounters the bomb will be altered, and the photons will interact destructively. This means the bomb's presence alters the path of the photon, causing destructive interference. In contrast, if the bomb wasn't armed, no interaction between the bomb and the photon would occur. The photon would proceed unhindered, leading to constructive interference. This is the crux of quantum mechanics, the superposition principle in action. So, without directly interacting with the bomb, we were able to make out if it would blow up half the city or not. You swipe sweat off your brow as you discover that the bomb is unarmed. A wave of relief washes over you. The quantum mechanics experiment worked. The photon's path, the superposition, the beam splitter, all these complex concepts coalesced into a moment of triumph. The bomb was disarmed, not by brute force, but by the sheer ingenuity of quantum science. In this journey, we've navigated through the labyrinth of quantum mechanics, unearthing the potential of the Elitzur Vaidman bomb tester. A testament to human intellect, this experiment shows how we can discern the state of a bomb without triggering it, all thanks to quantum superposition and communication. A daunting challenge, a nerve-wracking scenario, and a triumphant victory. A typical day in quantum land. This is the power of quantum mechanics, a field that never ceases to amaze, challenge, and inspire us. A field that saved the day yet again. For more such adventures, don't forget to like, share, and follow our channel. Keep exploring the quantum world with us.